Hello and welcome at the Orchid Saga. Welcome by this new episode of Bloom, Buds and Such. I believe it's uh, episode number 8 already. And it's basically an update on uh, what's going on in the Orchid Room and also in the uh, Greenhouse. And we are watching the uh, beautiful uh, Paphiopedalum Pinocchio Alba that I did uh, bought from my haul, my last haul uh, of Landsbergen. A beautiful one. But uh, yeah, so a, a bit of updates here. Well, let's zoom out a little bit. I have my Oncidium types. This one, this one, that one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> now, um, move from outside of the greenhouse into the orchid room, because when I was visi visiting uh, Landsbergen, um, I had a little talk uh, with them about the Oncidiums, and they said that they they normally do not like it to be too warm because my oncidiums do not really like uh, or not, not doing very well and I thought well maybe they don't like the cell watering something like that but uh, it can be that it also is because it's too warm and so far they seem to do uh, fairly well inside this one is still not looking very healthy this one is very uh, I found it very hard to keep it healthy and happy but uh, who knows, <laughs> it may uh, change now. This one is incredibly slow growing. I don't know what this is. It looks like almost sort of happy sap in a strange, within a strange form. I, I think you can see it now here on my finger. It's, it's like glue or something. No, no, no idea exactly what that is, but I, like I said, I think it's uh, some type of uh, happy sap. This one is really enjoying her life uh, in this setup, I believe. And it's now also starting a uh, spike. Let me zoom in. You can see it now, I think, there. So that's a good uh, good sign, of course. This is the uh, Munsterland Stern. Looks, uh, it's a dancing lady type, basically. And this one is also putting out uh, quite some new roots. So, so far, they seem to like it, but They've been here now in, uh, in, in the orchid room for about four weeks, so maybe a little longer. But it's, uh, so it's too short to say it really is uh, working, but so far they uh, seem to do uh, well. <laughs> Let's put it like that. And just a quick view, but this one is so beautiful. So it's a beautiful uh, spike. And of course I need to show you guys the tag. Bellara ring. Renensis coral. For those who uh, want to know, so far not much happening yet, but I just saw that my Sturbic uh, from the Incas is making a spike here and also another one there. This one really likes to bloom and it has uh, two, actually three uh, new growths. So, yeah, there might be quite some. Uh, blooms in the near future which is beautiful and i also discovered somewhere on this nelly Island that just finished this spike somewhere is another one and just yeah it's in here i hope you can see it let me put my thumb yeah you can now see it i think so at least one new spike this one has quite a uh, quite a uh, amount of new growth as well so that's uh, going fairly fine. And this one is just doing basically nothing. It's the same as this one. That one was a birthday gift. Um, but this one is growing way quicker than this one. So I'm not sure, but maybe I'm going to check this one. I may throw it away because it's basically doing nothing. It has a root system, but this one is also making a spike in there. Let me zoom in. And it's, the bulbs are way bigger. And it's not that long in my possession, but this one is, is way longer here. But it's, it looks like it's doing nothing. So it may not be the healthiest one. And then we have a Miltoniopsis. We have several, but this one is now opening up as well. It's such a beauty as well. But I will show it in a uh, blooming update properly. Just have a quick look if something is happening here. Yes. Bloom buds and such. Let me... Um, Quickly turn off the ventilator. I have something exciting. I'm not sure if it's going to stay here. This is Dracar 
I'm sorry, Dracobella. And look what it is doing over there. Seems to me that it, that is a spike. Oops, it's now getting blurry. Let's try this again. But I'm not sure if we're going to make it. But so far it's growing. And it decided not to go through a hole, but maybe it's going over the edge of the pot and then hang uh, next to the face. I have this one hanging above water and I have a wicking Cintiq that's going into this pot to keep it uh, moist all the time. But because the spikes uh, yeah, normally or sometimes do get uh, from uh, down under in need in the pot, they will come out from there. This cannot be in a regular pot, so therefore I have it uh, like this, just as a test. But so far it uh, does seem to work. So that's uh, very nice, I think. Um, yeah, I think that was the most of the updates here. Then we have a Miltoniopsis here, as you can see. Also a very beautiful one. This one is doing fine, but I did uh, find some spider mites again on this one. You can see it on the spike. Those dark spotches, spotches? <laughs> spots are um, an indication of spider mites. So I had to treat this one and that's why it's in front of my ventilator over here. So it uh, dries off before it uh, starts uh, to get dark again. The evening basically. So DQL, I believe your uh, YouTube name is. We had a little talk about uh, how I treat uh, spider mites on my Meltoniopsis and I have that video uh, on my channel. And I did uh, read your comment um, that it seems to work, so that's that's beautiful. But uh, I hope you see this video as well, because then now I can say that you always keep an eye on them. And if you see those dark spots on spikes or new growths, just uh, check them. Uh, I do that with a cotton tissue, which you uh, uh, yeah, normally you use it to uh, remove makeup. I spray a little bit of the solution. We talked about on that uh, cotton pad and then I uh, just flip it over on both sides of the leaf and just squeeze a little bit and move it like this upwards and then check if it's orange or brown inside. Well, this was very obvious, but I did check it and it was very, uh, very orange. So therefore I knew this, these spider mites were still alive. And if you do it, um, if you keep checking them, you don't have a, 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 that much damage on your leaves. I'm not only talking about this for a DQL, of course, but uh, for, you, for all of you guys who wanted to know, just keep an eye. And I know that I normally need to uh, spray my Miltoniopsis twice a year. So every six months, at least one of them has spider mites. And, but nowadays I check them because I don't like to spray orchids that doesn't, don't need spraying. So I just check them and I keep my eye really close on them. And as soon as I see something like this, I check them. And I think that's the best way to deal with it because I cannot get rid of them completely. I don't know where they hide. But if you spray them, they, sh they should be okay for, uh, let's say, four to six months, something like that. And if your new gro growths do show up, uh, those spots again, it just uh, means there were a few spider mites alive and you need to spray at least those new growths again. So that's uh, about the, the spider mites, a bit of an update. So yeah, and my... Um oh, what's your name? My, let me... Yellow bird, of course, the yellow bird. I uh, hope you can see it. Yeah, I think you can see it. It's making uh, a spike over there. So that's for me the first rebloom. I did uh, buy this orchid from uh, Miracle Orchids, Anna Maria, and she's really doing fine. A beautiful orchid. And I have another spike somewhere. I just cannot see it, but I need to hold it with, uh, with one hand. It's very heavy and it lives way up here. Let me put it back. Don't break the spike. There we are. And it gets quite some light. And yeah, this uh, looks to be a quite a nice uh, blooming cycle we have going on here. So I'm really looking forward to it. So next 
Well, almost next to it, look at this. This is a first time bloomer for me. Look at those beautiful, promising buds. <laughs> this is, let me check the name tag. This is Lelia Peperata variety Rubra. Well, this should be, but uh, soon we will know for sure. Like I said, it's a new, uh, it's a fairly young orchid, and I think it's the first time for the orchid as well it, that it blooms, at least for me, and I'm really looking forward to it. I think those are going to be very, very beautiful. So, and there in the back, you can see also a spike, <laughs> actually two spikes. Those are for my Sherry Baby. So we have some blooms to come. And my fan is still looking beautiful. I'm so happy they are uh, back to life again, <laughs> basically. Uh, let me quickly go over here, because my Dendrobium phenoliopsis do really like the warmer weather. And this one is starting to spike here, here, and here. And while it's working on those spikes, it's also working on this new growth, and that new growth in the back there. So, and of course, the new roots that come with the new growths, beautiful. My winters are very hard for them, so they, they survive, so, but they do not look uh, very uh, healthy, but they uh, start really to grow when it's, uh, like I said, warmer, and they do get quite some light. Even these two guys, it just recently repot, just freshening up the pot, try them in a net pot as well. I will discuss that uh, in another video, but... Uh, Beautiful new growth there, new roots, as has this one, also new growth, and this one next to it, it's my Dendrobium Spectabile, crossed with Microfilm. It really does look like the Spectabile, if you ask me, but this new growth, look at this. I did grew this one on the right last year, and I thought this one is very big already, but you can see this one is already even bigger. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. These, these have these alien type <laughs> blooms. Beautiful, very healthy orchid, as is this one. This one is really doing way better than it did before. My cream, no, not my cream puff. Oh, the tag is just on the wrong side. It's my uh, puff 58 yellow fragrance. Such a beautiful bloom this one has. So that's going on over here, Sherry Baby, we just did talk about. And this one is still beautiful in bloom, also Sherry Baby. Ruby Doll, a Ruby Doll. So my beautiful fails. This one is amazing, isn't it? Secondary spike, it has, it's so large. It's, it's, I never saw some, uh, something so large. Look at that, it's crazy. It's, it's a giant, you guys. <laughs> it really is a giant. It's so beautiful. I really need to bend when I'm moving over to this area. It's so heavy. So, and we do have some spikes over here. First time bloomers. It's this one in the back. I hope you can see it. Let me zoom in. There we go. So some Miltonias. This is Miltonia Candita Crush. Something I cannot... Uh, Golden Yay with Candita, there it was. And this Russia is now fully opened. I really need to take pictures of these blooms. So, <laughs> so beautiful. And then we have this Miltoniopsis. No, not Miltoniopsis. Miltonia Spectabilis vari variety Miruliana Royalty. The one you probably know from previous videos. I counted 13 spikes so far. Maybe I missed a, missed a few, but uh, yeah, 13 of these beauties over here. So that's wonderful. And the other part of the plant is up here. I counted eight on this one. But you guys, we have another Miltonia. It's the uh, Flavescent. 
Look, one spike over here, and I believe it had another one. Where is it? Yeah, it's in there. This part is a spike as well. So that's the first time for me. I thought I had a flavor and turned out to be a Moriliana as well. <laughs> so really looking forward to see this bloom so I know if it's, I have a right one this time or not. And then we have this beauty over here. This is a bubble film Wilbur Chang. And all those light green leaves are all new growths. And it's putting up even more new growths. But no spikes so far. Maybe it's not the time of best time of year. I have no idea, but I really would enjoy some spikes. Can you see it? New growths. At least I believe all of those little pointy things in there are also new growths. So I'm not sure what I, if I do do something wrong with the Wilbur Chang, maybe it needs a little bit more light, but on the other hand, these are very light green. So I believe that's an indication that it does get enough light. Maybe it does get a little bit too much. I'm not sure. If you have a Wilbur Chang, maybe you have some tips for me. <laughs> what to do to get it to bloom. But maybe I'm just uh, need to be patient and it's just working, establish itself and it will bloom eventually. And then the last update, this is something I look forward as well. It's a twinkle with a fairly thick spike. Twinkles are doing way better than they did before. They did well last year, but I think they do even better this year. I get these beautiful thick bulbs at least for a twinkle size again so that's beautiful healthy new growth not much of that yellow it's a little bit yellow there but don't think it's too much so yeah i think it's doing well and here in the back it's my uh, peter kamp miltonia peter kamp i did a repot on it but it's still looking uh, great it really gets stronger again finally Finally. Um, oh yeah, of course, my Harvianum is starting to open up. I think this is spike number six and number seven. I, I'm not sure anymore, but I never had so many blooms on it. I think the plant itself could do a little bit better. So I hope after it's done blooming, it really starts with, uh, well, let's say two or three new growths. And hopefully I can grow them uh, a bit stronger. But the blooms are about to opening up. So beautiful. Very, very bright yellow. Strong yellow. So I think you guys, this is an update for now. And we even have some fells that decide to make another spike. A few of them. I just don't remember on top of my head which one. But yeah, I think, uh, well, this one is making a spike can see here a new one and we have a new bloom actually here let me zoom in quickly before I forget isn't that beautiful the Violacea cross with self indigo Violacea indigo do I say that let me take her down here yes whoops you can see Vanillapsis Violacea indigo cross with self so basically, it's just a Vanillapsa uh, <laughs> Violacea Indigo, I believe, but I'm not sure why it says cross with self, because then you have the same, I believe. <laughs> Anyhow, beautiful things happening over here. Beautiful things. <laughs> oh, the fragrance, so beautiful. So yeah, this is uh, just a uh, nice uh, quick update on uh, what's going on here. I think, uh, I think, I hope you all do, uh, do well. And I hope you uh, like these uh, type of video videos. And of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will get to them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.